actually look at my hand closely holding the mic, you can see how double jointed my thumb is. <laughs> so, as you've heard, my name is Kerry. What a fabulous day this is going to be. And I'm really excited to be talking to you today about the subject of retailing. I'm coming from a 20 year background in retail with an added six years as a home based beauty business owner. I really hope that I can give you some value today and my take on the importance of this subject. Sorry, microphone, slides, <laughs> script. So why? We hear this word a lot in this business, don't we? And I feel that in life, if we know why we need to do something, it helps to give us motivation to do it. So why retail? Well, am I correct that the one thing we all have in common here today is that we'd like to earn some money? Yeah. 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 <coughs> so income would be a good why. This business is based around products. And if no products are going out to the consumer, there is no business. Double jointed thumbs don't help with this, do they? <laughs> Can you, Paul? Because I'm really trying to struggle with this. <laughs> So what is the income potential with retail? We know that one case credit is worth to us approximately 71 pounds in profit, yes? We also know that we are only expected to find 20 to 30 regular customers and help others to do the same. And then amazingly, Rex only actually asks of us to create a minimum of a full case credit habit. So therefore, the minimum requirement of just four case credits would give us an immediate income of around about 284 pounds. Now that's amazing. Which, if you think of the key slide in our BP, what's the first thing we say about the income possibilities? Who do you know who would like to earn an extra 200 pounds a month? So would it be fair to say that most people would like to earn this. And if you can learn how to do this yourself, you can teach others. Imagine the possibilities. And this is where the simplicity of the business cycle starts. So what I would like to do is to look at the various methods of retailing and discuss just a few of them with you today. We're going to look at personal use, launches, pups, otherwise known as customer trial packs, open house events, table events, and seasonal. So let's start where it all begins, with personal use. We need to experience these products in order to gain belief and feel the benefits. And of course, it creates case credits in our business. But also we need to be our own best customer in order to have that credibility and show integrity. Now, poor Cameron Diaz here, she wouldn't feel me with confidence about being in the health and wellness business, would she you? <laughs> so we need to think about what message we're sending out. And we can do this by simply making commitments like buying a new product to try each month and gradually switching our spending from the high street to our very own business, which actually equates to money in our pockets. Now, to find our clients, one of the best ways is to start with product launches. It's one of the quickest ways to showcase your business to family and friends, and will create immediate customers and even team members. <coughs> Also, it's a great way for you to have instant training firsthand by your sponsor who will be there helping you. And you can get into other people's databases 
which in turn leads to case credits, which of course leads to income, plus it's great fun. So some tips are, keep it simple. If you're just inviting a group of friends to come and take a look at what you are doing that possibly has interest to them by way of the products or the income opportunity. And you can find some really useful information in your first steps to manager book on the process of inviting and of course speak to your sponsor to agree your course of action. Aim to have regular events, maybe once or twice a month if you can. You can keep it fun by creating different styles, for example choose a theme. We've just had Halloween, which I would have called Halloween. Footspa, pamper, makeup, sports, weight management, these are all just varieties of ideas that you can do. You can even create an online private event for those that want to look and be involved from the comfort of their own home by using company images and wordings from the brochure. Be creative by playing some games or quizzes. Even have videos of you using the products. For example, applying the lip gloss, showing that it lights up, maybe not for the men. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. And great to get people engaged. And of course, keep it compliant at all times. Use the free prize draw to help you bridge the gap into new networks of people and extend that reach of building a client base. It's a great way to have fun and opening the Allo shop bar is always a focal talking point. Next we have pups, customer trial packs. I love pup baskets. They were instrumental on my journey to manager. And again, there is so much that you can do here. The clients get to try before they buy, which in all my years of retail, I've never heard of. You can tailor the products to suit their needs. It's a fabulous way to build rapport and it will absolutely start to create customer loyalty. It's genius. The products are working for you when you're not, which goes towards case credits, which gives you that all important income. And everyone and anyone can be invited to have a pup, especially your existing customers. You know that they already like these products. So why not introduce them to more of the range? I would make my customers feel special by inviting them to try some different products as you value them as a loyal customer and are keen to hear their feedback. Always ask for referrals, maybe incentivize with that special product you know that they would like by suggesting they help put you in touch with X amount of people to also try a basket. And as a thank you, you will give them a, uh, you will give them a gift for their assistance. Keep the pups simple, don't overload with products and information. Again, you can be creative. There's some um, themed options available here as seen on the slides. And once someone has had a pup, offer a different style, maybe on collection. So you are literally transferring them through the product range. You can keep this going for quite a while. A helpful hint would be to put gift tags on the products, reminding them of each one's uses, as they may not remember what you've discussed with them. <coughs> and if money is tight, you could use samples and literatures in a bag, maybe even use the green forever bag, and they can keep that as a free gift when making a purchase over a set amount. And since we've had all this talk in the media lately about 